everyone, it's Brianna and today I'm going to be doing a video on my everyday makeup routine featuring this look that I'm wearing right now. And if you are new to my channel, just remember to hit the subscribe button down there and uh, be sure to check out all my other videos. I'm still a little bit new to YouTube so I'm getting the hang of it on all these videos but I really hope that you guys will subscribe and keep up to date with all of me. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get into this video, so stay tuned to see how I do my makeup on an everyday basis. So, this is me right now with no makeup on. Um, if I keep looking in this direction right over here, that's because my mirror is right there, so I'm just going to be trying to look over here to do my makeup, but I'm still going to make sure I'm looking at the camera. But first, I'm going to start out with putting some primer on. This one is the Too Faced... Um, hangover repl replenishing face primer and I really like this one because it re rehydrates my skin um, especially when it gets a little bit dry I have really weird like combination skin where sometimes it's oily and sometimes it's dry but I do really like this so I'm just gonna take a pump of that and rub that all over my face this is really good as a base for your foundation. I find that my foundation lasts so much longer when I use a primer compared to when I don't. Um, I used to never use primer but I'm really glad that I switched to using it. So this is the foundation that I use. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. And I really like this because it's medium to full coverage and it's definitely buildable if you want to add more or less foundation. Um, I always do this part in sections just because it does dry kind of quickly and I use my beauty blender to blend it out into my skin. The shade is a little bit dark for me now so I'm probably gonna go and pick up the shade that's a little bit lighter than this just because now it's getting a little bit cooler out. I've lost some color from the sun. Oh, remember to tell me like any other videos that you guys want to see. I definitely want to make sure that I'm putting out content that people want to watch. And not just content that I like, but this is something that I like. And I know I always get questions on some of the products that I use by my friends. So I figured this would be a good video to go over everything that I use and everything that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Alright, so I'm almost done blending this into my skin. And remember to go over your eyelids too. I usually don't use eyeshadow primer, even though I should, but because I don't use eyeshadow primer, I always try to cover um, my eyelids with some foundation. Also, it looks weird when sometimes your if your foundation is a little too dark and people don't put foundation over their eyelids and then you can clearly tell. I also like to blend my foundation down my neck just to make sure that everything is blended nicely. And see now my skin looks so much like smoother and so much like clearer. There's no um, you can't see any of like my freckles or any red marks on my skin. It really does a good job of covering everything. Alright. And now I'm going to use my uh, concealer. This one I actually got as a free sample when I bought that foundation. I don't know if that's still a deal that they're doing at Sephora, but definitely look for it. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, Invisible Cover uh, Concealer, and this is R230. So that one that I was using was R330. Um, so I might have to sw actually switch to this shade for my foundation when I go back. And I just put like a little dollop of that on my the tip of my beauty blender, and I blend it right underneath my eyes. go and that just like brightens up my face a little bit I always use a concealer that is a shade lighter than my actual skin tone just because it definitely helps to um, 
just like make your eyes like glow up a little bit I think okay so that's it for foundation and concealer and kind of like the base of my face now I'm gonna move into doing my bronzer I am obsessed with cream bronzer. I think it's so much better than powder. Um, it, powder just always leaves my face looking very cakey, I feel. And I like the like dewiness of having a cream bronzer. So I actually have this um, kit from Ulta. It's called the Cream Contour Kit. I don't know if it'll focus so that you can see it. Come on, camera well it's not focusing I don't know why but so it's cream contour kit and if you open it up it has two highlighting shades at the top and then two or four um, bronzers obviously this is the one that I use on a day-to-day -day basis this one is way too dark for me I use this on my friends sometimes when I do their makeup but and then the other ones I'll probably use a little bit more in the winter time when my skin is lighter and I don't need such a dark contour and I use this brush it is the real techniques sculpting brush and the um, head looks like this it's kind of like angled dome shaped and I really like this because it really gets into like the crevices that I need it to so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my brush and obviously fishy face it and just fill in Another thing that I want to um, talk about with this is that the pigmentation of this bronzer is really nice and also with this brush it really puts a lot on so just be careful if you do decide to buy this combo um, that you use a light hand with getting the um, product onto the brush because I've definitely over uh, put too much product on the brush before and it definitely does not look natural. Mm. See, now you can see that just kind of gives my face a little bit of that contoured shape. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my nose. And then on my forehead. I keep looking this way too because that's where the viewfinder is. And I'm also using that as a mirror. So sorry if I'm not looking in the camera as much as I should be. But I promise that in other videos I'll get better at actually looking at you guys in the camera. Also applying this down my neck just because, again, we want our entire face and body to be the same shade. So if you apply it just down your neck, that's also going to like thin your neck out a little bit, which obviously we want. We don't want any uh, double chin showing. Okay. This product is the number one thing that I always get asked about in my day-to-day -day life is what is your highlighter? So this is my highlighter. It is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. This is the best highlighter I've ever used. I swear by this. Um, they just came out with a kit on Sephora.com of um, four different uh, shades of this. It's like Moonlight and then three others. I don't know the name of them. But this product itself is $42, which is kind of a lot. but. I think it's totally worth it because I literally use two drops to do my entire face and it's perfect. But if you want to try out a few different of the shades, I think that the um, kit is also $42 and you're getting four different shades. They're definitely obviously smaller. I want to say they're probably like a third of the size of this. But when you're only using two drops a day, it's still going to last you so long. So I highly recommend checking this product out. I don't think I'm ever going to switch to any other highlighter. Except I do want to try the Fenty Beauty highlighter because everyone has been talking about it. So I'm probably still going to go buy it. But I think for liquid highlighter, this is there is no other like option for highlighter. This just leaves your skin looking like wet and it's like glowy and dewy and I just love it. So I literally put a drop 
on the bottom of my beauty blender and I use the bottom for like my um, highlighter only I don't really put foundation on that side and just smile and just put it on your cheeks See, and I just dab it on see look at that just blend it all out Make sure you completely blend it out because you don't want any dots. Sometimes I've done that where I haven't blended it out completely and I'll have like a dot or two randomly on my face. But just look at that. So glowy and so like dewy and it makes my face still look kind of like that wet vibe and I'm obsessed with it. So I'll put another dot on for this cheek okay and then I usually just take like one more like little little like tiny droplet like oh, that was like honestly way too much so I'm gonna just gonna like brush a little bit off with my thing oh no I'm putting way too much on oh no okay so I'm just gonna do a little bit of dab on like the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose top of my forehead the cupid's bow under my lip and my chin and then I'm just gonna blend that out as well again remember to blend out very well don't want any uh, dots just chilling on your face. Not cute. Mm -hmm. Blend, blend, blend. Mm -hmm. Beauty Blender is perfect for this. Like, I don't think I could ever use a brush for this product. I just don't know how it would work because it's so, like, liquid. I think the Beauty Blender does a good job of blending it all out in my skin. Okay, and see how glowy I am now. And, like, I just really like a super dewy, glowy look. So if that's not for you, then, yeah, this product is not going to be your best friend. But I love that look, and this is great. And, like I said, it is a little bit pricey, but it's going to last you so long. Yeah. Next, moving on to my favorite part of, uh, like, your facial look I guess um eyebrows so I use or actually let me put the cover back on so I can actually show you what it looks like it's the Anastasia dip brow pomade and I use the shade caramel so obviously you can tell that my hair is very blonde but my roots are very dark so I like this color because it goes very versatile with my um natural hair color and my blonde hair color and I also prefer to have darker eyebrows I know some people hate having like dark um brows when you have like bleach blonde hair and they think that your eyebrows should be lighter I don't agree I personally really like dark eyebrows like I think eyebrows define your face so much and I think it's like key to have um uh, just looking for my yeah, so I just really like dark, like really defined eyebrows. I'm actually going to zoom this in a little bit. Sorry, I'm like really close to you guys now. But I want you guys to see how like kind of light my eyebrows are in comparison. And then I'm going to be using this bra. But I'm pretty sure this is a Sedona lace and it's just a like tapered eyebrow brush. I don't know. You can find this anywhere but I'm just going to take a little bit of the product and I always start at the beginning of my eyebrow and I fill that part in and I kind of like to overfill it in the front side because my eyebrows are like shaped very nicely but they start a little bit like further out from where I wanted them to like if it was up to me and have them in a little bit so I just like to apply 
a little bit extra product to right there. Sorry again. Um, it's so hard to do your makeup on camera because I obviously want to keep eye contact, but I also have to see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll do like a makeup challenge where I can't like, it's like no mirror and no viewfinder. I only can look at the camera and kind of just like go with it and see how well I do. I feel like I know my face pretty well, so I think I'd be able to do it. And I'm just going to fill in this eyebrow. Again, just kind of pulling it out just a tiny bit. And obviously just make sure that if you do that too, that the line is like even and that it just like looks very full. And don't fill it too much because I've seen some people like who have their eyebrows are like here and they fill them out to here and it just, like I know your eyebrows are fake like, but it just does not look good. And I always like to really like define the arc in my eyebrows because again your eyebrows just like define your face like look at how much more like defined my face is now also moving on now to some eyeshadow for fall I've really been into like the deeper like reds and like burnt oranges and colors like that like um like golden browns and everything in your eyes so I'm going to be using today the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. And this palette is beautiful. Like look at all those colors. This is like the perfect fall palette just because it has like some lighter shades and it has like some purples and like this burnt orange color. I'm obsessed with it. And then some more like neutral colors. Um, and this is just like my everyday look so if I was going to try to like glow up a little bit more and go all out with my eyes I'd probably mix in a few more shimmery colors because this is all matte colors but it's perfect for a day to day look. Um, I honestly just use two colors. I don't go crazy. I'm just going to class. It's not important for me to have my eyes completely done like I never wear eyeliner to class I never go too crazy just like a little shadow um is perfect so I'm gonna start with this shade right here and the color is commando let me make sure you can see that right here oh yeah and the brush that I'm using is also from Sedona Lace and or actually no I lied this is from Coastal Scents fun fact and this is the BRC and O2 just any kind of flat like dome brush will work and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid Make sure you get it all over nice and even okay do the other eye A little bit more. Okay. So that's just the base, and then I take um, a blending brush, and this one is Sedona Lace, and this is the EB13, and I'm using the that burnt orange color that I talked about, and this one is called Extra Bitter. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on this brush and just blend it into my crease. Make sure you really blend it out. And see that? And do the other eye. So that's what I'm doing for my eyeshadow. I'm actually also going to use 
this color and it's called pregame right there um and i'm just gonna put that in the corner okay we're zoomed in corner of my eye just to brighten it up a little bit and also right under the brow bone just so that the brows look even more defined. Just gonna blend that out a little bit. Now for some mascara, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras to ever use. Like that brush is just like It's just such like a cool shaped brush. I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit more just so you can really see me and how I put on my mascara. Gotta really just wiggle and get the mascara in between all of the lashes. And I like to make sure all my lashes are like pretty separated. And I also will go behind the lashes and kind of pull them up. Again, like I don't go too crazy with my mascara when I'm just going to class. When I'm like going out and stuff, I'll usually do a couple of coats and I might uh, mix in like another mascara for a little bit more like length, but just for a day to day look, I'm not like super crazy about it. You can just see how mascara makes your makeup just like pull all together. Like look at this side of my face and this side. Clearly this one looks a lot better because I have mascara on it. Or, well, not on my face, on my eyes, but you're picking up what I'm putting down. So, I'm just going to finish doing this eye. My right eye is always so much harder to do because I'm left-handed, so I'm like going in like such a weird angle with my hand. Again, just going under the lashes. Or straight, well, I probably should say over the lashes. And if you ever get, like, see how I kind of got a little bit of mascara under my eyes? You just, if you just wait, like, a minute or two for it to dry and just take a um, Q-tip, it will take all of it off. But just don't do it when it's wet because if it's wet, then it's going to smudge. And obviously, you don't want it to smudge after, like, ruining your whole eye look. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some lip gloss. Hmm. Today I have I have the um Kylie I think it's the, her birthday collection I think or actually no it might be her summer collection but it's like these four nudes and these are the four that I usually like will switch between and what I want to use but I think today I'm gonna go with this one this is in Commando my camera is about to die so I need to uh, wrap this up but. Put this all on my lips. All right. 
So this is the completed makeup look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I definitely want to do a couple more makeup looks for you. Maybe one with like a little bit more of like a deeper purple uh, palette. And maybe like a glam like glow up look. Just let me know what you guys want to see. And I definitely will put it out there for you. And remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe to this video to get all my updates. And hopefully I'll be talking to you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>